Guys, what's up? You're watching TOJ. I'm your host, Rico Suave. And I want to talk about Kevin Hart. Today's show is brought to you by rbyrico.com. As you already know, it's my website. Go and support me. But I saw the Kevin Hart video, the Instagram little, I don't know, little clip he put of himself begging for forgiveness for his wife. And I'm going to tell you something. All that, you know, I'm going to say this. I don't think Kevin is really sorry because he hurt his wife. I just think he's sorry because he got caught. But my, my problem is this. When are these celebrities going to learn? I mean, it ain't got to be, you know, R&B singers or black celebrities, but males in general, most men, let me tell you something, guys. This, even myself included, this is the age of the Instagram thought and the, you know, like these, these, these Snapchat freaks out there. For you to be out there thirst trapping when you got women of every walk of life at your fingertips who would do all that shit for free for you to be putting yourself in public and knowing that you you honestly I'm, I'm gonna say this you know if you're a guy with an insatiable appetite for ass and i don't know whatever you know pussy or whatever you want these guys at that age if it's not you know something most men go through a player stage i went through it uh and i'm sure my son's <laughs> when they get to the certain age, they're going to go through it. And most married dudes go through that shit, too. And I think Kevin is kind of going through a delayed player stage, to be quite honest with you. Even celebrities go through it. People think, well, you know, Kevin got money and he got some success. But, oh, dude, you know, when you actually working those long, long hours. And I don't think people understand. Because I, I worked in the music business. And I did some on you know on stage like drama. So I did you know um some some drama work for a play, and just to go to rehearsal that shit drove me. So to be a guy like Kevin Hart and you on the road all the time, think of Kevin make more, Kevin is making more movies than Nicolas Cage used to. So I know this man ain't got no time for his woman. He ain't got no time for his kids, and that's that's what fucks me up because I understand the dude is out there making a living, and if you're a, a performing uh, comedian. It's very, very hard to land steady work and make a you know a decent income at it. I'm glad Kevin earned. I'm, let me tell you something. I do comedy, and I ain't been on stage in over two years. I just I stopped because actually I got to pay bills. You know what I mean when I did comedy it was like a passion. I did open mics, but obviously I still got a sense of humor. But I know when I would do comedy, I would meet some of the comedians who was traveling trying to get their name out there. And I'm going to tell you something. It took Kevin Hart about 13 years to get what he got, and this motherfucker earned it. But to get on the case of this dude with all his stupid-ass cheating, getting caught, then getting extorted? When I seen Gloria Allred's daughter once again after the fucking thing with Usher, you know, people, people, you shouldn't make, you shouldn't put a bullseye on your back. You don't make yourself a target. You got all this, you know, I really wish... And I really hope that Kevin had the common sense to get a damn prenup. I don't, I don't think he did with this new girl because he was all on stage talking about this is my rib. I finally got a good woman. And your stupid ass got caught giggling and laughing with a fucking woman that's, that's, not, that's not even your woman. My thing is this. If you're going to be a celebrity with an insatiable appetite for some women, just be a, a confirmed bachelor like Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves comes off as this real moist you know, like vegan dude, but I, I'm sure he's smashing up a storm. You know what I mean? This is this is Neo from the from the Matrix. I mean, after all, this is John Wick we're talking about. So, uh, you know, I'm just saying, I really hope this dude don't lose a fortune over some damn pussy. You know what I'm saying? When you got a whole woman at the house. And this is like your wife. You, you, you're supposed to be committed to this woman. So I'm not really, I don't feel sorry for Kevin Hart. I mean, I kind of did at first, but then I realized, like, nigga, I wish I was you. I mean, don't get me wrong now. I mean, the dude earned what he got but at the end of the day when you're somebody in that position and i hate and i don't want to racialize it when you're a brother looking at looking at what r kelly going through looking at what usher went through you got that that all red woman her daughter they with, with bill cosby accusers what the fuck is your problem this is the fucking age of this is the this is the come up generation they, they even got they, they got dudes coming up remember they had a whole dude jumped in the usher mix and say Usher gave him her piece. Man, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these dudes, bro. Um, but I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for Kevin, bro. I really don't. I just hope the man don't get divorced over this. 
and lose everything he worked for because let me tell you something, bro. When you out there on them streets and you got to sleep in hotel rooms, you got to travel and make basically $300 for working all them clubs. And then you explode from that to having a bank account with over $100 million in it. You don't lose that shit overnight. Not because you were too dumb to keep your zip up, you know, your, your pants uh, zipped up or whatever. But anyway, fuck them. That's, that's my opinion, bro. Kevin, you my dude. I love you to death. I wish you the best of luck. But, man, if you're going to be out there doing that dumb shit, bro, just just get divorced. I mean, you know, or just get you like a side chick or whatever and just, you know, like, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really at a loss of words, but I was going to write a script for this video, but I'm trying out my iPad because, you know, my camera fucking up. So, anyway, guys, I'll try to keep my videos about seven minutes long, but I'm going to get off of here now. Until next time, take care of yourself. Um, those are my thoughts and my opinions. Anyway, um, leave a comment in the section. Let's see what you guys think about the situation, man. Y'all think Kevin did the right thing for coming out? In fact, the girl who actually extorted him said that she put, she actually, she set him up so she can extort him to get money. And now they got the whole FBI involved, like like this motherfucker's some kind of victim. So you know, man, fuck it, I'm done, man. Peace.